Karen Bass is taking charge today, and her first order of business as the newly sworn in mayor of Los Angeles is to tackle the homeless crisis. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live in downtown to show us Bass's first act as mayor. Cara. Good morning, Marcy. We were able to come back inside the Emergency Operations Center where you can see there has been a homeless response center already operating. If we give you a peek inside, the function of that so far has largely been to respond to calls for help. Well, today, new mayor Karen Bass instead activated this much larger emergency operations center. You're familiar with it um, because of things like weather emergencies where lots of different agencies meet here. Now she says they will be coming together regularly to deal with what she calls a humanitarian crisis. Take a look. Bass told the media she already met earlier today with the heads of city departments, homeless service providers, and LA Metro to get their collective work going. Then with city and county leaders symbolically standing behind her, she officially signed the emergency declaration. Her transition team tells me daily meetings of a coalition of area leaders will be taking place. The declaration also unlocks state and federal resources, cuts red tape, which will allow work to be done quickly, like taking whole encampments off the streets, placing those communities in rented hotels immediately and then working to get them from temporary housing into long-term solutions. People still talk about how fast we rebuilt the freeways after the Northridge earthquake. It's because those projects were not run through the traditional process. They were run through an emergency structure like the one we are harnessing today. For the first time, I feel like I have somebody I can go to in the mayor's office to say, I'm facing a roadblock here help me overcome it, you know, bring, make this contract happen so that the service provider can start their work. Just 24 hours ago, Vice President Kamala Harris swore Bass into office. Today, she took just a few questions, promising another news briefing soon with more details about what she called Inside Safe. That's a program that will be tasked with bringing people off streets in the most vulnerable areas quickly. She expects funds of under $100 million to be needed. Now, Marcy, I did speak again with a member of Bass's transition team. She says they expect to meet uh, for the first time here at 1 o'clock this afternoon. She says uh, the city council will need to approve this emergency declaration every month for it to keep going. At this point, she says they're kind of planning out for at least six months. All right, Cara, thank you so much for that update.